So these are the dark ages. And the dark ages are the time between when you stop playing with Legos as a child and you decide as an adult that it's okay to play with a kid's toy again. And uh, this is the story of how I came out of mine. Typically it starts with an uh, offspring, child, spawn, whatever you want to call it. That was my four-year-old at the time, now he's eight. And you go, I went with my wife to buy Lego for him at the Lego store. And at some point we said, who are we buying this for? Because as you'll see in a second, the, the Lego we bought really wasn't appropriate for a four-year-old. Uh, I turned around and said, well, what are we doing? And she says, I said, we're buy who are we buying this for? You see, eight to 12. She says, we're buying it for us. And I was like, all right, I'm cool with that. She's like, yeah, nothing wrong with that. And then it just kind of got crazy from, from there. Uh, the, the, the Lego purchasing just, again, it still was under the guise of buying it for the kids. Um, but uh, in short order, <laughs> in short order, it, it covered the, the, the living room. But we, we had this room downstairs that we would use for torturing. But now that's not allowed. <laughs> So we put those little floor carpet squares and some, some eco-friendly fluorescent lights and all the Lego went, went down, down there. Um, but uh, uh, then uh, once we had a room for all this stuff, we, you needed to build your collection. So you go on eBay and we bought pounds, 100 pounds of Lego. That my daughter said to me, I, I was kissing her after we set it up, we, uh, kissing her goodnight. And I, I said, you're my treasure to my five-year-old daughter now. And she said, no, that Lego you bought is the treasure. <laughs> And then she says, Dad, we're Lego rich. Um, then, then you're gonna need to get containers for all this stuff and, and then sort it all. So I know you're all incredibly anal and have a lot of sorting algorithms in your head already. And this is kind of what that turns into. It's, it's a fucking nightmare, actually. <laughs> kind of, I dream about it. It gets stressful. Um, but yeah. This is pretty, and then you go to a conference, and that's the moment of reckoning because there's a, a Titanic and a Smith Tower, and you, everyone is so nerdy. That you guys are like the, like really, uh, you know, the geeks who, who date the the Lego conference. No, the, there's a the, there's a you know a military. The, the guy is making arms for Lego, like machine guns. This is an aftermarket business, and you just have to say it. Am I one of these people? And and I was like, yeah, I, I came out of the closet. I am. So, yeah, my name's Hillel, I'm a big, huge nerd. And uh, so, but, but the stuff that, that they make is, is just out of control. And then once you, once you admit to the problem, that's the first step, they say, uh, then you're kind of in and you can find out all the stuff that's going on. So first of all, uh, Lego themselves, who's, who just encourages this, this community, they have this thing called Lego Digital Designer, where for free you go build Lego and then you can order what you built and they'll send it to you with instructions and everything. All, it's like CAD from Lego, but you know, I mean, it's, it's awesome. And then if you build something really cool and you post it up there, then they'll take some of those and they'll sell them. I don't think you get any money, but you know, it's still, it's still very cool to see your design. This is designed by a user. It's, it's uh, uh, pretty incredible actually. Um, so th that, that's pretty good. But then if the Lego branded CAD tool isn't enough, then you can go get the third party open source LDRAW tool that lets you actually forge your own pieces in shapes that don't exist. And then this is the, the, the Serenity thing. Uh, and, then, and then you can even render it in 3D and make fucking Lego movies. Um, I, no, seriously, just search for Lego on YouTube and it, it's psychotic. Uh, some of the, I mean, they recreate scenes from like, you know, famous, I, you know, I, you probably heard of this movie, but um, uh, I mean, but w with incredible details, some are crappy and some are great and some are, you know, just copying movies. I mean, just absolutely fantastic or original creations all with this instant set and people making the mouths on the little characters move is hard because they have none um, that move, you know, that, but people do it. So, and then uh, people will make uh, comic books uh, first by just imitating comics that they know of. Look, I love the guy run. I know I'm not supposed to move, but the guy running away <laughs> with his little, his hands. They're those little clasps, I guess. They have no genitals either, by the way. I've, not that I've looked, someone told me. Um, and then there's Lego Mindstorms, which is like robotics, 
with like its own like awesome programming language that a kid can learn. It's like way better than Logo. It's a Lego. And then sensors for like, you know, uh, compass and light. And then this guy built a freaking slot machine and he didn't skin a slot machine. He built a slot machine with the insides made out of Lego. And then, um, then if you're crazy and you go to the conference, then at midnight, or sorry, at late at night, you, you go and you build Lego while drunk. That's an activity that people do. Uh, then there's puking, not related to the Lego. And then, and then at midnight, you go to the Lego store and they, everything's on sale for some ridiculous price. You're like, oh my God, I, 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 it's, they, the box is dented. I'm getting it for 40% off. And then there's this crazy BrickLink marketplace where you can buy individual pieces thousands at a time from thousands of Lego home stores all across the planet. It's incredible. What, some people think that, and will say that you can actually buy the new sets and just sell the little characters. And there's so many collectors that if you sell them on eBay, it'll pay for the rest of the set. But then you have no little guys to ride in your ships. And that's difficult. And the question I think for a lot of people is, well, Lego, you know, I love it, it's cool, but, but it, it's, it, it's, it's really art. I mean, it's sculpture. The, the level of detail, to be able to do these, these curves, the techniques people develop, to do, you, you'd be stunned. I mean, just think about this object-oriented system where everything plugs into everything else and they make lights and they, they make things that look organic out of pieces that are, don't look organic. They look like little plastic blocks. Uh, and, and just really absolutely stunning creations that kind of kind of humble you and make you feel like, wow, I suck. That, I was at a, at a conference with a, a lady from Lego and someone said to her, this is a marketing thing, and, and someone said to her, gee, how do you control your brand? And she was like, Pfft. The horse left the barn a long time ago, my friend, that we don't control any of it. We're just happy to be along for the ride. And then I'm, I'm sorry because the light isn't over there, but I brought you, if, yeah, there we go. Sorry about that. Uh, so that's my house and there it is. So during the break, that's the first thing I built as, as an adult fan of Lego. Um, so uh, during the break, you can, uh, I'll be over there and I can show you it's modular. It's totally cool. Anyway, thank you. Thank you, hello.